from WPTV, Florida's top-rated television station. This is News Channel 5 at 5. For many with physical disabilities, the human body can feel like a prison. News Channel 5's Vince Norman spoke with an organization dedicated to making the first step towards freedom. It feels good to stand among friends. It's more than just a slogan on a shirt. For Sean Friedkin and his clients, it's a mantra. One used to remind themselves and those around them that being disabled doesn't mean total dependence on others. They could go on to be parents or to be spouses or to be business owners. Um, and regardless of the limits of their disability or the limits of their function, to be as independent as they can. In 1997, Friedkin founded Stand Among Friends, a nonprofit organization dedicated to assisting those with disabilities lead normal lives. And with their new assistive technology lab, they're doing just that. The assistive technology lab is designed to make technology available to anyone with a visual disability or physical disability or hearing disability. But all the technology in the world is not going to make any difference if you don't have anyone there to use it. Zenimon Friends gives people the ability to reach their potential work and in life. And the public sector and the private sector needs to stand up and support. Support which will provide an outlet for legally blind graphic artist Zara Jaffergy's creative vision. Or allowing John Maloney, who has dealt with cerebral palsy since birth, to help others like himself as a rehabilitation counselor. The lab is here to help you but it's only going to help you as much as you help yourself. With the continued help of their staff and sponsors, many more people will soon be able to say that it feels good to stand among friends. In Boca Raton, Vince Norman, WPTV, News Channel 5. And here's what's next.